Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Skyrim Dawnguard with Trash 2, Andra, Lydia, Gamork, Henrik Moore. So, in the last episode we made our way here to Fort Black. Um, I've actually done this before because, well, Skyrim decided to, well, no, not even Skyrim, OBS decided to have a, a fit and not record basically anything after the end of last episode. Uh, not actually, not OBS, but OBS Studio, which is supposed to, supposedly the more advanced and more powerful and more capable. Um, hopefully, hopefully this works well this time. Um, yeah, I will be disappointed if we... Look, excuse me. Take your boat and ah. You can just go away. Ow. I really need to um, not be standing out in the open while they're shooting arrows at me. Um, right. Let's try force push. Goodbye. At least one of you. Ah. Um, right. How many of how many of you did that get? Just one? You know what? That's better than nothing. Oh wait, no, 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 no. It um Where'd you bugger off to anyway? Or did you or were you still in motion as you fall fell off the cliff? Yep, looks like they fell up were falling off. Alright, so we have one Dramora Pit Fighter, we have um Gamork is completely the lost. Uh, right, so we need to get out chain lightning. As I said, I've done this before, and so I know exactly what to expect. Because as soon as I walk in the door, we're about to be confronted with quite a lot of Thalmor, actually. Um, Never should have here. Fortunately, chain lightning beats basically all the Thalmor. Um, right. Uh. Nope. There we go. Let's find that bastard Balthazar and get this over. I don't know why. We will get to it. Now shut up. All right. Uh, no, I don't want to pick the lock. I am not a. I am a mighty wizard. I do not pick the right spell. Is what I do not pick. All right. So. I, I really do kind of like OBS Studio, and I hope I've remembered to press the record button. Otherwise, I'm going to be kind of embarrassed here. But, um. Wait. Ooh, Hydra Cheese. Yum. Uh. Uh huh. There's you. Unlock the door. Um, this area is kind of nasty here, so. Accidentally break the recording is what I'm gonna do. Alright, I should be back. Open this and through here, and there's double chests here, and I'm not quite sure. Yeah, so I got two different types of two different sets of loot there. Um, oh, 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 no, 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 no. So, uh, tell you what, what I want is where is it? I want chain lightning. Alright, I want this Alright. So, let us grab instead. We're going to grab this. Uh, no. Um, I just unlock the door. And blow the... Blow the... Ma Blow the elves down. Aha! I know who you are. You're the chap we're here to execute. Um. Right. Let's have a magic potion. Uh. He's doing the I've been electrocuted dance. <laughs> 
Really, good Mark? Um, right. Rigmar, stand. Rigmar, stand still. Um. Why did? Don't tell me we blew him through the door. I will be really, really cheesed if we blew him through the door. I've been having all sorts of issues with physics today. Um, ah, here it is. He and the. And just because you're such a pain in the neck, I'll take all your clothes too. Ah. You are definitely not Rigmore. Uh, let's check the place, find out what's been going on here. I'll search over here. Yeah, fantastic. That you'll notice that there's a big map here. Stage one appears to be an attack from the north. Stage two is moving upwards, and then stage three is attacking from the south. But there's no Let's real explanation. No real explanation until you come over here and read this journal and ignore Gamork. Uh, day one. I've arrived at Fort Black and immediately set about my tasks. The experiments have gone well, even though the originals were stolen when the Bruma Embassy was sacked by that Nordling girl. I managed to replicate the advanced forging on the duplicates we had made. We had made. Uh, this merging of Daedric relics could also be used on armors to make sure our troops are optimally protected and their weapons are superior to any underlings they may encounter in battle and have sent word to the Order for more gold to start production. Run on sentence much? Um, those pesky miners have been busy again. This time they were seen at the forest edge. Our guards had to warn them off. I sent a couple of scouts to find out what they were doing. It seems they found gold deposits at the base of the mountain and have built an elaborate wooden frame to transport the ore. We can't have them around the vicinity. The activities here at the fort must be kept in absolute secret and can only result in dire consequences for the new order if the Empire and Dominion find out. I'll send word to General Adriath to inform him of this nuisance. <sighs> General Adriath has instructed me to dispose of the miners. He doesn't want to risk our operations being snooped on. I went up to the mine with some guards using the very same framework they built. Uh, it was imperative to find out if they knew anything. They begged us to let them live. Fools, if only they had kept their inquisitive noses out of our business. I had the foreman crucified and tortured, and the others incinerated. They didn't know anything about our operations after all. Oh well. Day 25. Some bandits have been hanging around that old... mine. The underlings have been very busy extending the framework to the summit. Three of them were seen snooping around, snooping in the forest, and they were captured, and were captured and brought here. If they knew of anything, they would have talked. They had a child with them. Maybe a quick, clean death would be the best thing to do for her. The others have been quiet. Lately, we've told, we told, lately, we told them their friends had been tragically killed in an accident due to the rotting framework, and told them to stay on the Skyrim side. Maybe that will be useful deterring other nosy trespassers. Day 28. Gold prospectors have arrived and are occupying the framework. I had intended to put them all to death, but only more would have come eventually. Only more would eventually come. It's a strange wording. Um, so I have relented and negotiated a percentage and have appointed trusted foremen to oversee the work. They seemed a little reluctant at first, but as death was the only al alternative, they soon saw the immediate benefits of a mutual agreement. The deposits will help fund the work we are doing here at Fort Black. Day 30. Oh, Adriano, my love, how I miss you so. Whoa. By the nine divides. I think you better take a look at this. What is it? Let me see. Looks like a breakaway Altmer faction. They're planning a military coup to usurp the Altmeri political class. <gasps> Delightful. Some kind of map? Yep. Alright, so Jeror's letter. Uh, read Jeror's letter. Uh, to High Justice Justicar Jeror, New Order of Alinor. The Order is awaiting to hear of your progress concerning the three targets needed to move on to the second phase of the plan. I do not have to impress upon y impress on you the importance of the task. Once the seeds of discord are sown, that fat emperor will have no option but to move his army north to crush the Stormcloaks. Then we will be able to take control of the situation here on the Isle and complete the third phase. Can I assume you will employ only the best bounty hunters and assassins to accomplish this task? Coin is not an issue, and they must be eliminated, eliminated at all costs. If you want to keep the last high-profile target alive for your own whim, you will have to march on solitude yourself. Do with her what you will. I will be l relying on you, Jeror, to keep that army occupied as soon as it becomes obvious it was a ruse. We will be 
then be in a position to take what belongs to us by birthright. Failure is not an option. Long live New Eleanor, General Tylar Adriath. Oops. Okay. And uh, a new order of Eleanor. Three top level targets. This doesn't sound good. Yes, but it doesn't mention who. What in Talos' name is going on? Uh, they intend to sow discord and invade Tamriel. By the gods! Do you think... the Queen? Now that you mention it... Then one of the other targets must be Tullius. But how will they get away with it? My bet's blaming Ulfric and his Stormcloaks. But then why go through all this trouble? Why not just invade and be done with it? It's not Skyrim they're after. They want, to send, want Titus to send his army north. Yes, and the Northern Invasion Force will keep the Emperor's army in Skyrim, and Cyrodiil will be unprotected. Exactly. And there's your answer. We had better be getting back to Andrews. Let's check this map and check we haven't missed anything else first. Okay. Okay, so she's got... Oh, I got the map. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. Ooh, a couple of soul gems. I'm pr pretty much set for troll skulls. I want, want more, I'll just go find a troll and take him away from him. Uh, loot chest. And... Alright. Okay. Ah! Frickin' companions, I swear. Uh, I, this door always says it's barred from the other side, and yet it's possible to open it, although the key doesn't... Bastard. Get this Shut up. Go away. Right. Um, this leads up, which is just an exit to Skyrim, which doesn't do us any good because we can't fast travel away for reasons which I've never quite understood. Um, ooh, scroll of Circle of Protection. That's useful. Ish. Um, if, it's helpful if you get surrounded by vam uh, undead. Doesn't work so well on vampires, but it's not too bad for most other things. Uh -huh. uh, here we go. Yeah, again, double loot chest. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, black mini drops, which I don't actually need. And a wood door, which leads some, to some stairs down. There is. If I... Uh, So it's here. Uh, fire mage light up here. Let's find that Do you mind? Thank you. Yeah, you can see that's a dead end. Uh, this, it. however, does open with the master key. And... Uh, right. We're going to need this. Alright, so this is the part I've been having some issues with. Um, not this first not this first area, but... In Black Fort Black Prison, if we... Um, step through here, we're immediately assaulted by... Hi! Uh, right. There's enough of us that we can basically... Um, Alright. Uh, I need to assist them, and I'm not quite sure how I want to do that. Uh, let's try this. Um, not working quite as well as I would have liked. Damn, there. Filthy. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna need this, and I guess I'll stick with steam spray, although... And unlock you, and blast you boys! Ow! Nope, 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 nope. Be, there will be less of this whole attacking me thing. Um, right. Uh, I can't see anything, which means I know you guys can't either. Uh, okay. Now there's. Did we also get? Looks. Yes, we did. Alright, here's the hard part. I need to use um, steam spray here, and the reason that I can't is because 
Ow. Uh, I know what I can do. Um, ghost walk and Midas adept lock. Alright, so we engage this and now this. And we come over here and unlock that, which teleports me back here where I'm safe. Um,. Right, pit fighter. Uh, there we go. Okay, and same trick over here. We need open the depth lock and ghost ghost walk. Over here, we hit this and unlock the door, and it teleports us back out of the bridge. I, master wizard, remember, master wizard means don't run headfirst into fights. Ow. Haha. -ha. You totally deserve that. Shut up. Right. So, replica heirloom sword, replica Daedric amulet of Talos, and dungeon master's notes. <sighs> The prisoners, as I suspected, knew nothing of our operations here at Fort Black. Malik set about his work with skillful zeal. If the bandit miners knew anything of knew of anything, they would have talked. Even the Alakir fool who appeared at the gate looking for some Redguard woman proved not to be a spy. The replica artifacts are now locked away down here, and work on them has ceased altogether. We are to move to a new secret location very soon, as a newfound commodity is proving much more worthy of our hard work to strengthen to strengthen our military hardware. However, much much as it pains me, Jeror has how, however much it pains me, Jeror has ordered me to dispose of the girl. I will make sure that Severus gives her a quick and clean death. It's the kindest thing I can do. Um, you could try not killing her, but uh that's obviously not gonna uh amazing. Exact duplicates of your heirlooms. They have Zajric properties. The amulet of Talos acts as full body armor, and the sword is very powerful. Thankfully, these are the only ones made. Indeed. What do you want to do with them? Why don't you keep them? We had better get back and give the evidence of the plot we have to Ren. He'll know what to do. This is big. Indeed. What's the story, Rigmore, on the heirlooms, I mean? They were found buried in a chest by the Thalmor when they arrested my dad. My mom and I didn't even know about them. All I know is that they are around 200 years old, and has something to do with the College of Winterhold. Uh -huh. One day I hope to go there and find out more. It's also one of the reasons why I came to Skyrim. Maybe we could check it out sometime. Indeed. Let's move out. You ready? Yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, and now she starts, runs off. Now, there's a bit of a secret here, and I missed this the first time round. Let's find that bastard out. Uh, there's actually a wall here until you complete this part, you. but oh, uh, I don't. I need this. By the gods. Okay. First of all, stop shouting at me, and second of all, what's the matter? There's a little girl in here. Get her out of there. Uh, fine. Move over, and I Hurry will open up. the door. Stop shouting at me and let me out of the conversation. Jeez. Unlock the Please door. Have mercy. I beg you. Don't worry. We aren't going to hurt you. You promise? Yes. She's a scaled down full size NPC because she's wearing the fur armor and that doesn't come in child sizes. Because this is before, um. Heart. <sighs> Hearth fires. Uh, what's your name? My name is Sorella. Nice to meet you. That's a pretty name. Have you seen my parents? The bad guys brought us here. Uh. Whoa. Brigmore. That cell must. must have been them in the cell back there. What now? Well, we can't just leave her here. What well, clearly. What do you suggest we do, is the a question I was asking. Let's take her with us back to Angie's. She'll know what to do. Poor girl. Yeah, that makes as much sense as anything. Anything even in here. Let's find that bastard Baltazar oh. and get this over with. Uh, I don't know why I even do for helping you. You know what? Come on, just shut up. Um, oh good, she's gone back to sleep. Brilliant. Um, can't see a blessed thing. 
And she's taking a freaking nap. Hello. Hello. Uh, hey there. Yes. Um, afraid your parents are dead. We're gonna need you. Have to, you're gonna have to be brave and come with us. Okay. That was easy. We're gonna take you with us to Angie. She's one of the good guys. I know that place. That's where the crazy lady lives. <laughs> uh, trust me, she's probably the least crazy person in Skyrim. <clears throat> yes, but she will take good care of you until we figure out what to do. Excuse what me. What about the bad guys? Don't worry, we sort of yes, murdered all of them. I think so. The bad guys use this tunnel. We can get out this way. Fantastic. Uh, that was game echo, not uh, microphone echo, just in case you're wondering. Yeah, if we follow her, it'll take for freaking ever. But there's enough of us that... Oh, incidentally, she's all now also mortal, which is... Uh, means we should probably avoid, you know, shooting her in the face with fireballs. Just a safety tip. Follow Sorella to the fort. Exit. Yes, there's bear traps in there, which is why I wanted to rush to the exit. And I actually managed to miss them all this time, which is hilarious. Um, right. So, if we go... Uh, it's this way, because this is a branch. We should momentarily see... Yes, here we go. One bounty hunter camp. And now we have to stop and... I have a word with Rigmore, who's... over here. Who are they? Bandits? Nope. Look at the bounty hunt. Look at the banner. Bounty hunters. I wonder what they're doing all the way out here. Uh oh. I guess we're about to find out, right? Indeed. No, t no way to go through. Nowhere to go but through them. It's the only way out of here. I'm ready when you are. Indeed. Although we can just turn around and go back here. the freaking way we came out the front of the fortress. But that wouldn't make any sense. Yep, there we go. We'll just... What was that? Nothing good. Um... Uh, right. You guys want to play that game, do you? Um... Yep, you can just frickin' sit there and... Yeah. Goodbye. Um. Aha! Alright. You had a cool hat. I will be taking that as soon as I figure out which one. Yep, that's fine. Alright, so... Bounty Hunter Chief, here we go. Ooh, unarmored mage's gear. Uh, War with hammer of lethargy and Rigmore's wanted poster. Oops. Um, where's Rigmore? There she is. Uh, oh, we gotta look at the wanted. Po oh, there's the map. Uh, wanted poster. Wanted Rigmore of Bruma. With apparently no hair for some reason. Fair enough. You need to see this. What is it? It seems it was you they were after. Well, that's cute. <laughs> quite a price the Thalmor have on your head. Yeah, that's quite something. Others will come. Well, you're the guardian angel, right? Uh, guardian, yes. Angel, not so much. Yeah, well, we got lucky this Whatever. time. You only get tougher from here on in. Don't underestimate. Your, don't underestimate your enemy. Do I look bothered to you? You should. Bartender was right. You about you being foolhardy. It could get us killed. I can take care of myself. Oh. You really are. You really are something. I. I'm sorry. Eh, don't worry about it. Let's get back to Angie's. Okay. Right. Now, fortunately, we don't actually have to walk all the way back because that would be really freaking irritating. I try not to fast travel if I can avoid it, but in this particular case. I don't have any objections. Still here. Um, it's rain. Brilliant, it's raining. And snowing. Uh, explain to Angie about the child bandit Sorella. Great. She's going to try and kill us, isn't she? Also, we stole her. We apparently stole her horse. Uh, 
this is Ren. Oops, this is Ren. This is um, Rigmor's horse. Um, hello, Angie. You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. Yes, I think I believe we've been over this, but I am in fact the Archmage of the College of Winterhold. Thank you very much. Hey, Angie, we found this little orphan girl. She was a prisoner of the Thalmor. Oh my. Uh, do you think she could stay with us, or with you, for now until we can find her a home? Oh, why? Why, certainly. Don't you worry. Here, this is for you. It's all in this note. Okay. Uh, huh. Um. Okay, you know, talk to, to Sorella. Next time with it will be more challenging. Uh, <laughs> Sorella, Angie's gonna take care of you for now. You'll be safe here, okay? Okay. You'll be okay here, right? Yes, I think so. Sweet. Good girl. Go introduce yourself to Angie. She's not crazy, I promise. Well, okay. she's a little crazy, but... Alright. Uh, now we have to read the note, I believe. Which is... Uh, this one's actually kind of interesting. By the gods, who would have believed it? This surely must be the highest peak in the Gerald Mountains. To think after everything we've been through, the months of planning the attempt at the summit... The setting up of the base camp below the abandoned mine, and building the frame. Here we are. That view. Skyrim, Cyril to the south, Skyrim to the north, Hammerfell to the west. We will never forget this moment. This is surely a view to die for. The sun is setting, and we're about to make the descent before we freeze to death on the mountaintop. That shouldn't be a problem. All that timber in the mine we used to build our way up here, so it will be easy to make our way down. Uh, without the resources, it would have been impossible. Poor Vidangar broke here was about right about the south face being too dangerous. The wind would have blown us all to our deaths. He was wise to abandon that attempt and build our frame up the west face. Pity the other three were not here to see this. A strange fellow came to see us, a nice friendly chap. He informed us that our missing companions had been tragically killed when part of the rotten wooden edifice collapsed on the east face. That old mining frame should be avoided. Poor Sorella. She insisted on going with her parents, poor child. <laughs> We've decided to stay at the base camp for now. There are ample ore deposits, and as long as we avoid the saber cat and that dumb, stupid troll, we can start a new life as normal citizens. We've decided to keep them unharmed to deter the new gold prospectors from muscling in on our patch, and we can start a new life as normal citizens. We've been told we can trade the ore in Falkreath, and the Jarl has decided to overlook our bandit status as we are Nords. As long as we don't cause trouble, or rob the locals, and pay him a small tribute. It's so good to be able to drink the local mead, and we are planning on building ourselves real homes soon, and Fricka is with child. I love her so much. Who knows, one day I will make a respectable woman of her and ask her to marry me. Oh well, the others are calling. Time to go. Oops. To you that's reading this journal, I say to you, well met. We are the first and not the last to conquer this peak. May it be written so. Jacob of Windhelm, Fricka Kjansen, Siggy Kjansen, Rocky of Rifton, Inga Argoldson. Okay. I suspect those are Mon contributors. And she j and the names got used. Uh I don't seem to have any new Um what's my quest want? Um oh, oh, stop. Talk to Sorella. Who will introduce Hi Angie, I'm Sorella. Ah. Right. Oh hi. Oh you're sweet. Um This place looks cool. Like a real home. How can I argue with that? Don't you worry. I take good care of you. Excellent. Ah. A note from the bartender. Um, I can't... It's, it really is bartender, you know? Uh, Barendar's note, Angie's camp. Uh, dear Guardian, found a significant lead on Rigmore's mother's ring. I will wait for you both in Riften at the B and Bar. Be careful, and as always, be vigilant, Barendar. Okay, so, Riften it is, but first, we have something else we have to do. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. That's good. The courier came while you were gone. Bartender wants to, st wants to meet up in Riften. Okay, let's move on. Ben okay, let's head out. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Now, of course, I'm gonna go stand by the fire. Now, of course, we are not actually heading straight to Riften. Indeed. Oops. Uh, what note? Um, 
Oh, about oh about Rigmar. This is basically telling you how to ma turn her into a companion, and in case she loses her marble and decides to uh, stop being a companion, then this once you read it will cause Rigmar to be summoned to your side, which is crazy useful because she gets lost like a lot. Um, like I said, a little bit of foreknowledge, but uh, yeah, super useful. However, we do have one thing that we have to do before we go back to Riften, but it's fine because it's kind of on the way. We have to go here and kill Baltazar. Um, you can deal with him other way, in another way, but killing him is... You'll see why I want to kill him. So, in the next episode, we will head to... Actually, between episodes, I will head to... Uh, Helgen, and from there we will find um, Baltazar, and from there we will head to head off to find Baltazar and uh, put an end to him. All right, this has been Skyrim Dawnguard, Trix Two, Andron, Lydia, Rigmor, and Gamark. I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>